Oh, just a few. These are all going to City Walk. Although this one here is for Volcano Bay. But another bus has just come to take all these people. What I will say is the crowd level do look a lot in terms of waiting for a bus. But honestly, they're gone within a couple of minutes. We've never waited more than, I would say, three minutes for a bus. They're all back. So although it looks busy, it, it honestly, it goes really quick. Don't be worried. It's a beautiful morning. Good morning, it's beautiful outside. We are on our way to Kiki's for breakfast at Dr. Philip Boulevard. Just going past Volcano Bay, we'll be in there later. We've got the roof down on the Mustang. Steve is enjoying his ride. Do you bring your sunglasses? Silly. This is Kiki's, which is about a 10 minute drive from. We have arrived. We have. It's a 10 minute drive from Dockside. So we're in Kiki's now, aren't we, Stephen? Yeah. It's very busy, as in, like, there's a lot of locals in here, isn't there? But it gets really good reviews. Yeah, it's it gets great hard. reviews. This is the breakfast menu. Yeah. Good, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A side of bacon and the biggest pancakes. They're as big as your head, Stephen. Well, it must be big, though. I'm absolutely stuffed. It's like eating a full cake. Stephen. I can't eat any more of mine. Done. And I've even been eating dairy milk all night for breakfast.
It sucked me in. My sunglasses. There. Yeah. Oh. Well, Bab, it's because it's my sunglasses. Um, it's because that bit there just sucked you straight under. Timing's key on that. Like, not often you get that. I got sucked under. What? Oh, exit's approach and exit to the right or not? No. Someone's um, taken a well. Still closed. What tends to happen is this is the entry point just there, and Not when you get round entry the point. biggest entry point, but when you get round this bit, it's when the current takes you. No, you're good. I'm, the current takes you round there. And that's when it can take your breath away a little bit. Or if you've not been on before and you're not sure what happens, you can panic. And I think somebody's panicked and then they've had to jump in and save them from panicking. Stephen's mum panicked, didn't she, when she did it for the first yeah, time? Yeah, she didn't like it. She never went she on again. Now. Oh yeah, she does now. Does she go on now? Well, she prefers me not to push her around in two, but later <laughs> ever. She does. But we're just gonna hang here for a bit. And we're back in. You want Stephen? So we just stopped off for a bit of lunch, well I say lunch, it's 10 to 11 but we had a few beers last night and we've had no breakfast. So we're having a pepperoni pizza and a coke. It's in straws. It's good pizza to be fair, isn't it? $12.49, it's good pizza. Thirteen dollars for tonight. Thirteen for now. Hmm. It's good. The car's been on the rooftop for Hours. all morning, and I bet it's boiling. It's pleasant. pleasant. <laughs> that one word for it. Is it hot? What's the temperature, Coda? 
It's only 97. 97? It's not too bad. It's 97 in Barnsley today. Look at him in his moon machine. We stayed there before. Nice hotel. Well, is it really hot? Yeah, but it's going to be hot until we start for a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> you got the key thing in to add. I've got the. No. This is our second time at Longhorn. This time we've been in for more than 10 minutes and stay, which is good. However, I signed up online to their rewards and got free appetizer. And for my complaint for the service in the last few days, I got a £15, $15 voucher as well. So these are Wild West Shrimp tossed in cherry peppers with jalapeno. I'm not going to eat them all because I won't eat the lunch. The dinner, should I say, the main. But there's a lot. And they're $11.79. And the load there, Stephen won't have any or even try any. Um, they're good. What did you what did you go for at the end, Stephen? A ribeye. A ribeye? How did you get it called? Medium. Medium. What, with the side of mac and cheese? I'm glad I got the same because with mashed potatoes and crispy little shrimp. No, I haven't. I've got ribeye same as you. Because you ordered yours, I mean, you said to me, you said you wanted ribeye. How stuffed are you, Stephen, on a scale of 1 to 10? 10. Stuffed. Stuffed. Beautiful, that. Stuffed, stuffed. Very delicious. No thanks. He's going to look at the um, seat mechanism. He doesn't trust them. Not for you, Cody. Not for me. It's not for me. Oh God, my screen's dirty. Good morning and welcome to day something. I'm not sure what it is. We're not... What is it? Well, I know it's Tuesday, Stephen, but I'm not sure what day it is. Day... Day three. Um, we won't be doing the vlogging day one, day two, day three, day four, anything like that, because they'll just... They'll all be mixed into something or other. I'm not sure what you've seen last. This is probably the start to... Um, so just brush your teeth, Stephen. Stand a steamer makes your home cleaner. He loves an American advert. Um, I just wanted just to, you know, a shout out to something that, you know, has been very helpful to me during our first three days. Because it's very busy. And that is good old chafing cream. Put it on the inside of your legs and your friction's fine. Um, it's been a godsend that has. Um, carrying a little bit of weight around the old thigh area. Um, so, um, I don't know what we did yesterday. What did we do yesterday, Stephen? Um, Volcano Bay. We did, oh, we did Volcano Bay. Kiki's for breakfast. Kiki's for breakfast, Volcano Bay. <laughs> but your deep pants. We went shopping <laughs> and I picked up the wrong underwear from Calvin Klein. And let me tell you now. They're absolutely humongous, you could get two people in them. So I've got to take those back at some point uh, this week when we're down there. We did call into Longhorn last night for something to eat. Yeah. However, we only stayed for about 15 minutes then we left because the server, well, not the server, because we didn't actually see a server the whole time we were in there. But the woman on the front desk just, you know, greeted us with a... Uh, and then sat us down and went... Uh, 
and you could just tell the tables were all a mess. There was no organisation. I just thought this isn't going to be a good experience, and I ain't paying our hard-earned earned cash for crap service and crap food. Was it about sort of death for no one in? So if it were busy, you can expect to wait, but she didn't even speak. Just grunted. She did. So today we are going to Daytona Beach. Are we going to Daytona? Is that yes. where we agreed? We're going to Daytona Beach and uh, just get away from the crowds because we're used to coming in September, October time, and the crowd levels are not as much. But you know. Understand COVID and stuff, people are all back. We were speaking to a couple yesterday who had driven seven hours across America um, to come for a few days. So it's mostly, in fairness, Americans that are here. The only time I've heard a British accent is at the, the shopping mall and the premium outlets. So we're off to Daytona Beach. Come along. Stephen's got his breakfast, which is what, Stephen? Pancakes, strawberry pancakes, overhard, egg, egg, sausage, French toast, pancakes, hash browns. There's quite a lot there, isn't it, Stephen? Yeah. Well, that's all yours, aren't they? <laughs> So we have got 14 minutes left till Daytona Beach. As you would have just seen, we have just called in at Perkins. And that is the first time we've ever visited Perkins on the many trips that we've had. We've never ever been, have we? No. Don't know why, we just never been. Oh, was that look of it? Just never been. And what did you think? Fantastic. Yeah. It was really good, to be fair. The food was good, the service was fantastic. I mean, the service in there were of an older um, server, weren't they? So there were, you know, women in the 50s and 60s and they yeah. were just lovely. Like, absolutely lovely. I don't know where, which Perkins we went to, if I'm honest. <laughs> I've no idea. I'll have to check in later, because I'm not quite sure, but it was on our way to Daytona Beach. We've seen the sign, we came off, we dived in. Uh, but the food was really, really good and, like, value for money, like, what was the what was the total? Um, $32. $32 for all of that food, coffee, you know, it was lovely. Uh, we left 40 um, absolute great value for money. What was it in Kiki's yesterday? Um, 50 I think about 30, ah. 38 38 A little bit more expensive. Yeah, a little bit more expensive. Not, not a huge amount, probably 20% no. more expensive than, that better than Perkins. Than Kiki's. But Perkins you was better, think, yeah. yeah. Um, so if you're out here, get yourself to Perkins for breakfast. Let us know what, how, how you found it. Um, comment below if you've been to, uh, oh my God, I've just said comment below. That's the first. Wow. Never said anything like that. Never. Anyway, comment below if you've ever been to Perkins. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, please like our video if you if you do like it. And subscribe, because actually, only 2% on of people who've watched that. In fact, it's not even 2%. I think it's less than 1% of people who have watched. Well, I think we've got 160 yeah, subscribers. Up until now, there's never been really much need or want to subscribe. It's not been that much to see. We've done a cruise vlog, a couple of day trips here and there. But after this trip, we're going. We're coming back to Florida on the 11th of September. But we're coming by parents. Um, so that's for two weeks. And we're stopping in the villa that time. 
And then we've also got coming up in December, we've we'll got to New York on the 23rd for six nights for Christmas. So there's going to be actually something actually to subscribe for. So. Yeah, so less than 1% of people that have watched our video subscribe. Um, so it says a lot of stuff that, that they don't want to see anymore or they've seen <laughs> enough or they don't want to subscribe. But we've never asked anybody to subscribe. I don't want you to, anyway, I'm, I'm baffling on. I don't yeah. want people to subscribe just because I asked them to. Subscribe because you want to watch content, if, if that's what we call it. Um, don't like if you don't like it. Don't comment if you don't like it. In fact, comment if you don't like it. I quite, I'd quite enjoy reading those. Always open to feedback. In half a mile, use the left two lanes to take the I-95. So we're just coming into Daytona. Is that a place? Yeah, Daytona. Right, I didn't yeah. know whether like you had, oh yeah, because Cleethorpe's Beach is in Cleethorpe's. <laughs> different. <laughs> it's slightly different. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know whether you can pick it up right here, but over there is International Speedway, where I think it's like a big nice cars and stuff like circuit where people just zoom round at a million miles an hour for no really apparent reason, but you know, that's what they do. I wonder if we can see it better now. I don't know whether anyone... I like a bad, bad boy. I like a bad, bad boy. Oh. Your passion, our coatings. To be fair, it looks an impressive stadium, if that's what you'd call it. Race track. Look here and there in front. Nice big welcome sign. I don't think we've ever been here. Never I would here. I would recognise this. We've been to a few beaches on the Florida coast, but not Daytona. We normally go to the um, west coast of yes. Mexico. Yes, apparently it's supposed to be a little bit nicer, but... Well, no, sea's calm, sea's warm, yeah. but I don't like what it's see anyway, it's still like fish and sharks. So I think we're coming into like the, the heart of the town, city, I don't know what they call it. I think it's coming to where we're heading towards, there's a sign that's specifically just Daytona beaches. Crab shop. Yeah. That is hilarious. <laughs> Try and get closer, Stephen. This dog has got goggles on. <laughs> oh my God, have you seen this dog? Look, 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 look. Look at his little face. The he dog has got a pair of goggles on, I kid you not. He <laughs> <laughs> looks happy. Oh God, I've seen it all. I have seen it all. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I love America. It's absolutely... You have arrived. Bonkers. I'm not sure who quantifies whether it's the world's most famous beach, but that's what it's stating, so we'll go with that. Check those bad boys out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. $40 for the day. So I think we probably left you on the beach, um, although we're not quite sure how it came out because you couldn't see anything from our from through the lens. It was just bright white. But what I've come to realise in my 41 years on this planet is that me and beaches are actually not very good friends. I mean, to look at, we should be friends. It's fun, but in reality, sand gets absolutely everywhere. I'm dripping, sweating. I can't just get a drink because everything's miles away and it, and it just bothers me so um, 
the forty dollars, luckily the man didn't toot over um to ask for said forty dollars, which is a good job because twenty minutes of laying out our towels and um, we were off on the hunt for a, a public shower, which I managed to find one. Um so yeah, me and beaches don't mix. They've never mixed with Stephen. He's never overly been too keen on them anyway. Um, but for some reason, I always like to come to the beach. And then when I'm here, it just bothers me. So now we are taking the sides of Daytona Beach, trying to stumble across, which I won't stumble across, I'll put it into Google Maps, um, a Starbucks, because I need a strawberry acai and Stephen needs a latte, just to cool off. A cafe latte. Whenever we order a cafe latte in America, they'll go, what, hard? And I'll say, yes, hot. So if you ask for tea as well, you have to say hot tea. Otherwise, you'll get the ice stuff. Sweet Actually, tea. I'm going to try a sweet tea. I have never, ever tried one, and I'm going to try one. What's that? $5 Coronas. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I've got, fuck I've got sand in my teeth. Honestly, how's that? Ormond Lane's Family Fun Centre. We're now on our way back to Orlando. We're just going through a little town that's got signs outside everyone's houses saying the devil is not welcome here. I'm not sure why you would have a sign that says the devil is welcome here, but there you go. Right, so we're out of there, thankfully. Dollar Tree. So now we've got... No, thank you very much. No, thank you. What a load of tat in those shops. Of Dollar Tree, five and under, I mean... Ugh. <laughs> Absolute. Tat. People love it, especially Brits. Tat. Um, so we need to find a, a, um, a fuel station for some gas. We need to go and pump um, some gas. We need to find some gas, so um, let's go and find some gas. Would I stay at Endless Summer again, Dockside? No, I wouldn't. And it's not because of anything bad, n nothing to do with service or anything like that, or value for money but the rooms are too thin and you can hear everything. And I've struggled on a few nights to get to sleep because of people screaming, shouting and having fun, which is fine, but I don't want that. Well, I don't, I don't want them to have fun, but trying to sleep and I can hear people constantly. It, it, I found it very frustrating. So on that basis, I wouldn't come back again. Um, and I'm doing my first villa holiday this year, first time ever we've stayed in a villa, and I'm really looking forward to that. Nobody to bother me, because general public do bother me. I mean, they just don't observe what's happening in front of them to prepare themselves mentally for what's happening. So scan your pass, put your finger on, press it down, wait for them to say go, and then go. No, finger first, pass, finger, thumb, elbow, Oh, honestly, it drives me absolutely bananas. Bananas. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Go on, Stephen. Got his indicator on. Quite sure where he is. I think he's got told off. It's a bit manic here today. I think he's probably over here somewhere. Yeah, I can see him. 
He's not turned his phone on since we've been here, so there's no way of him texting me. That's where you get your buses from. And our room was just up there. Did you get moved on? Did you get moved on? In a video, but like, inside a cannon, right? No, no, good. Oh. So we've come to Walmart for the first time on this trip and it is just to pick up some M&Ms for people at home. I shan't be vlogging inside, getting excited over fucking Lucky Charms, that's for sure. Look at all these cereals, God, you can't believe it. You don't get the home, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I shan't be vlogging inside, getting excited over fucking Lucky Charms, that's for sure. Look at all these cereals, God, you can't believe it. You don't get the home, do you? <laughs> Dickheads, what honestly. People what spend 30 minutes videoing around Walmart showing people shelves One of food. Thing we did say is normally, the first day we get here, we'll go straight to the supermarket, we'll end up spending $100, come away and think, what's all this shine yeah. that we've bought? And we haven't done it. There's a reason why we go to Publix yeah. and not Walmart. We didn't have what we wanted, did we? No, we didn't have what we wanted. I always feel like very dodgy characters especially yep. when you go at this time as well late on very dodgy I said James just don't look at anyone in the eye you're missing car oh yes James just a stay a, at Publix James so as I was saying James is a bit of a starer so I said to him observant don't look at anyone in the face <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how well this is picking up in fact Sorry. it's it's better if I'm on I-4 over this bridge here to pick it up. Oh, I say. But that is sensational. What are you doing with you? Is that a cow? <laughs> Sorry for the language. That <laughs> is absolutely fun. I, I don't think I can put it into words how much that that wraparound screen looks insane. Okay, now they're all out in force to me. I'm surfing the ball. Um, look at that beauty! Woohoo! I love it. I love this American flag outside. Oh, they're all beeping tonight, Friday nights. So now. The, this is the delight. <laughs> well, go on then. Come on, Ben. Yeah, for across the street. Go and get your Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> this is the delight of International Drive. Which I described as to Jamie as Blackpool, but in the US of A. And I think it looks fun. And I think Stephen should stop being a snob. No, no. So, <laughs> if you go south. Of Sand Lake, road. it's nice, and then the stretch from Sand Lake Road up to Universal Boulevard, Our I hotel. think it's grotty, and it is, it's awful. I mean, what's nice about this? What's sex... wrong with Fair Villa's sexy things? Intimacy and wellness it's booty. It's all sexy things, and $2.99 t-shirts, which... I can get pizza. Yeah, I just don't think it's... What about Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> it's each to their own. I mean, we once did um, change his booking because we wanted to make his holiday a bit cheaper and we changed it back to when it used to be called Quality and International. In all fairness, the hotel was all right, weren't it? Yeah, it was, well, actually. It's not in an... I wouldn't say for one minute it's in a nice area. No, that man just sat at bus stop with a balaclava on and it's not cold. <laughs> <laughs> and it might sound snobbish but I've been for 15 years now and it's never looked nice in this no. part of international no. drive like I said 
but it's you have not, got yeah. Taj's Punjab Indian on your doorstep. If you're stopping just south, for Brits, South Sand Lake Road, not South Road, Sand Lake Road. Brits. Or if you're stopping north of um, Universal Boulevard, then it is nice, but rest, it's just not for me. You can spot the Brits a mile off, an absolute mile off, which I'm sure people can spot us as Brits a mile off. Gator golf there for your, your golfing and gatoring needs. <laughs> oh, they've not got balaclavas on, so that's. No, I've been for massage. Yeah, you go for a massage. It's open, but it always looks caught closed. Funny that, isn't it? You like extra, sir? <laughs> you like extra? $10 dip? <laughs> like I said, I don't mean it to sound snobby at all because it's still not cheap either way, but for me, it's just not. Well, it does sound snobby, but I don't care because I'm a bit snobby anyway. But so. I don't think it really portrays Florida in a particularly no. nice fashion. What? What do you mean? Everybody at Twisty Tweets. For a two dollar gift for one dollar ninety nine. I mean, nothing says I love you more than a gift from Florida that costs one dollar ninety nine. And now, fruit of the loom. <laughs> right, we're back at the hotel. That's actually quite entertained me that that little journey. 